Just by doing these things, it's gonna transform your business and I'm about to share all with you. If you're a makeup artist and you wanna grow your business, you're in the right place. There's two types of makeup artists in this world. The makeup artists that do your client makeup are really uncomfortable going out of their comfort zone. They know they're struggling, but they just think that they have to get more clients in to earn more money. And there's the makeup artist that works smarter and not harder, which is the person I'm about to turn you into after watching this video. My name's Amy, I'm a TV makeup artist. I've helped hundreds that make parties in the past grow their business here. I'm gonna give you real practical advice that will elevate your business. If you wanna earn more, but not work harder, work smarter, then hit the subscribe button because we've got a lot more of this to come. Five years ago, I was in my bedroom watching YouTube videos and I really wanted to become a makeup artist. I thought that was the best thing ever. I didn't realize you could have a job doing makeup and I could not stop thinking about it. I worked in a soul-destroying minimum wage cafe job. I used to get so depressed because I I just wanted to be a makeup artist. I lived in a moldy flat with my partner at the time and I was working a lot of hours to just get a thousand pounds a month. I thought enough is enough and I trained in beauty treatment, so lashes, brows, waxing, anything I could do to get regular clients in. I was just picking up courses left, right and center, online courses, anything I could get my hands on so that I could offer as many services as possible and I started working from home as a beauty therapist. Obviously this wasn't the angle that I wanted to go in. I ended up being a beauty therapist. Although I managed to get self-employed, which was fabulous, that was my goal, but I wanted to be a makeup artist and I was currently a beauty therapist doing brows and lashes. It wasn't aligning with what I actually wanted. I was happy that I was self-employed because that was a life-changing moment. Earning more for yourself rather than for someone else, it's just, it changed my life. I was looking for anything that I could to become more of a makeup artist. So I started training in TV makeup artistry. I went to courses in London and I did a few TV makeup artist courses. In all honesty, I'm going to de-influence you on those courses. I spent thousands and thousands of pounds on this training that could have been condensed into a short course. That's why I made the TV makeup course that was super affordable at £57. I genuinely don't think you need to spend those thousands and thousands of pounds on the information that they were giving me. So I condensed everything that I learned from that course and I put it into a more affordable course down below it's in my description if you need that. The most valuable information that I got from that course, which I'm going to tell you right now, makeup artistry in TV is so much more better paid than just doing client makeup on a Friday and Saturday. I was struggling to get people in constantly on a Friday and Saturday night. Don't know a lot of makeup artists that are actually fully booked every weekend. It's quite hard to do that. And two, you'll probably be really burnt out because Doing back-to-back -back clients like that when you have to clean your brushes, actually quite hard work. And when I started doing that like back-to-back -back client system, I was getting so worn out and I realized that this isn't actually the best way of being a makeup artist. The most valuable information that they told me was that you get higher paying roles in TV. And it blew my mind because I was like, what, wait, have I just been sleeping on this industry for so long? After training as a TV makeup artist and realizing that TV is probably where the higher paying roles are. Okay, now I need to become a TV makeup artist. How do I do that? I didn't know where to start. I didn't know where to look. I openly was talking to friends about it. I was going on Facebook. I was trying to find so much information. I realized it's a lot easier than you think. The information that people tell you after like beauty school and makeup courses isn't actually the right information on how to get TV jobs in 2024. So if you do take that course down below, it everything's in there. After speaking to a friend, I realized that networking and speaking to people about your ideas is so important because an opportunity came up with the BBC and now I currently work as a TV makeup artist regularly and I earn regular higher paying jobs, which is absolutely fabulous. Let's talk actual money and figures. So when I was a client makeup artist, I was charging 30 to 40 pounds. Sometimes there was like gaps in my day and it used to like screw my weekends up because I would not be able to do anything with my friends because I'd just be waiting on clients constantly. Obviously, if they're not back to back as well, you're earning less money because you may be only got like four clients in the day spread out. £160 maybe 
for the full day, but you have to stay in pretty much like 10 hours to like accommodate for those bookings. As a TV makeup artist, I earn £160 per day for four hours worth. I fit my clients in around that TV makeup job because it is only four hours. Sometimes I get more work as a TV makeup artist. Sometimes I do two, three programs and I triple that money. But if you don't know where to start and you don't know where to look for jobs and you need to know more skill set on how to transition into that TV world, things you need to bring with you, everything you need to know is in the course down below. I've seen loads of makeup artists though go into TV jobs not ready as a TV makeup artist and making like silly mistakes and it's just sabotaged their career and no one recommends them anymore. So it's also really important to be clued up before you go into the TV job roles. One bad job can ruin your career. Once you get a good reputation like I have, I've always been quite on it when it comes to my TV jobs through the years. Now I'm like actually turning down work which is crazy. I can't believe that I'm actually giving away work. I've literally gone from doing 10K, less than 10K a year to doing over 45K a year. Just work smarter and not harder. And I promise you, you'll grow your business rapidly. If that was really useful, let me know, hit the subscribe and I will see you next time.